Hi, my name is Stevie and I like to write songs. What do you think of today's Christmas jumper? Slayer. Get it? Slayer. Yeah. So last week we wrote a sort of pop rock chorus based on the Axis chord sequence. And it was an interesting experience. I really enjoyed it, but by the end we were able to break out of the repetition of that chorus. And today I would like to write some verses for it that are based on a completely different approach. And hopefully when the verses lead up to the chorus, then it'll sound like a nice surprise that we've broken into this Axis chord sequence. I actually didn't find it as limiting as I thought I might have. I actually found that there was a certain amount of freedom to it by just using something that's very familiar to people and writing a new melody and a new arrangement for it. So let's get some verses written today. Let's go. What about something as straightforward and basic as this? So, um... So what I'm doing here is I'm playing a C9 and then going into the third and then I'm playing the same thing over A. I like that rough. It's quite simple, but it's probably effective for the type of song we're trying to write here. Right, so coming out of the chorus. So that's when I would go back into the second verse, because presumably there'd be a verse before this chorus as well. And I can hear that we're doing a lot of do it, do it, do it, do it. So the first thing that comes to mind for doing something for the verses would be to go half time. We've got that line, alive but barely breathing. Alive but barely breathing. So I'm kind of tuned like that. And do you know what? Maybe in a different key, so that there's a luft when it goes under the chorus. So we're looking for something to come out of this rough. And I sort of thought that going up a tone sounded cool. And then we need to do something that turns it around and brings it back to C again. Okay, so I think I'll try and assemble that and see if I can write a vocal melody using that first line that I have to start making some verses. Right, so I think we've got quite a bit of arrangement work to do now. Let's make the track small enough so I can see what's going on here. So we pro let's 
for starters. Get away up here out of the way for a minute. So I think we're going to we're going to take this down here to the start, right? So we we have two of those riffs in a verse. Then I think we should do that again two times round on the verse, and then we go into the chorus, and then once round on the verse, and then another chorus, and that gives us two minus twenty two end of the second chorus. Nice pop sensibility there. Let's just double check. We just started on bar four. That's too many. Take that out. Okay, so that's sort of the arrangement we're going to work on from now. So we need three sets of verses. Let's try and write some lyrics for the verses. Right, so we have this first line, alive but barely breathing. Images of like a lone figure, a person who is at ease in their own solitude is something that keeps coming into my mind. The stranger, alive but barely breathing. A stranger, a stranger to this life. Something about walking on eggshells. Walking on a razor's edge. It's too Iron Maiden-y, isn't it? Walking on a knife edge. Walking on a knife edge. The knife edge cuts my feet. He's walking on a knife. Where is he going? What is, what is his goal? Where are his eyes fixed on? What's he trying to do? Um, a fleeting glimpse of something. A fleeting glimpse of something leaves him vulnerable. Vulnerability might be nicer. Belies the vulnerability. A fleeting glimpse of something. A fleeting glimpse of something belies the vulnerability. A fleeting glimpse of a life but barely breathing. A stranger to this life. The knife edge cuts my feet. A fleeting glimpse of beauty belies the vulnerability. Right, something like that. That's probably verse one. We need three. Thinking about maybe a fortress where he goes to be alone. He builds a wall around himself. He has this place that he retreats to, his sanctuary. And Superman, didn't he love somewhere like the Fortress of Solitude? A Fortress of Solitude. A Sanctuary of Solitude. I like the alliteration, a Sanctuary of Solitude. A sanctuary of solitude. Sitting alone in a restaurant. Yeah. Purged of all distraction. Purged of all impurities. Impurities. We need a rhyme for impurities. Insecurity. Afraid to move for insecure. Purged, the, purged of all impurities. Afraid to move for insecurity. Afraid to move. Move. Breathe. Does that scan the same? How come it's only four lines? A life but barely breathing, a stranger to this life. The knife edge cuts my feet, the fleeting glimpse of beauty belies the vulnerability. A sanctuary of solitude, a reservation for one, purged of all impurities, afraid to breathe, for insecurity. Right, so that is sort of, it's slightly shorter, but it still has two lines. Right, so we've got them two, we need a third one. Something about being an outcast, a loner, a castaway, a shadow, a lonely figure, no one ever sees, a castaway, a shadow, do make some room here, a lonely figure something, a lonely figurine, a lonely figure stands, a lonely figure looms, no one ever sees, no one takes the time. Oh, we're so close. A castaway, a shadow, a lonely figure looms. No one ever sees. No one takes the time to notice. A castaway, a shadow, 
A lonely figure looms. No one ever sees. No one takes the time to notice what's beneath. What's been? We need another two syllables. What's beneath what? What's beneath the surface? That's sort of too long. What's beneath the surface? What's beneath the waves? What's beneath the sea? Alive but barely breathing, a stranger to this life, the knife edge cuts my feet, a fleeting glimpse of beauty but lies of vulnerability. A sanctuary of solitude, a reservation for one, purged of all impurities, afraid to breathe for insecurity. We're not seem, seeming to put very much impurity, security, I suppose. There's not very much rhyming here, but the, the lyrics do seem to have an, a sort of oddness to them. That might be that might make an interesting vocal melody. A castaway, a shadow, a lonely figure looms. No one ever sees. No one takes the time to notice what's beneath the scene. I guess if I'm doing two verses, and then a chorus, and then one verse and a chorus, I would probably want to make the strongest ones the first and third, and I think the one here, the castaway one's probably the weakest. So. Let's call that the second verse. Okay, I'll try and write a vocal melody for this over the chords and see how we get on and get the verses recorded. See what we have. I love the belly, a stranger to this life. The knife edge cuts my feet. A fleeting glimpse of beauty. Let's listen to everything that we have so far now. Could we do this here again and just put the guitar solo here over the chorus again? That 
seems like it would be a nice thing to play a guitar solo over. Now there was something else that occurred to me when the strings come in. It doesn't sound great that the strings just stop here. Let's see if we can come up with something here for the strings. That on a loop. I like that. We could try something like that. Let's see if we can record that. Just to point out also that I just remembered to put the media offset on the strings as well so that they sound in time with the track. So I think I would also have that down here. So I was playing about with the strings part, the part where we were doing... And it sounded really nice on the piano, and I came up with this wee thing. And then, um, maybe something like what? I'm going to try and record that and see if I can build up some kind of an intro for the song with that. Let's give ourselves room for this intro. Okay, let's maybe take out these. Right, so it's all quantizing quite badly, but I'll get I'll get it in, and then we we can see what the crack is. Maybe we should actually get this introduce the chord sequence from the start, so. Let me take this down. Yeah. Right. Let's see if I can edit all this up now. So maybe the drums could do some kind of dun dun bah and end of the song. Let's see. If... 
I wonder, is it here? Yeah. Make this a bit of a flam. Probably should have been a crash there. I'll do, I'll, I'm definitely planning on doing a run through on the drums and get all the details on the drums fixed up. Maybe the bass guitar should come in here now at the start as well. strings, maybe soft strings. Yep, let's do that. I can feel that the next step in the song now would probably be to introduce some lead guitar parts. A lead guitar part in the intro, the main lead guitar. And then I was thinking after the main lead guitar solo we could go back to the intro, build the song back up again, do one final chorus, then go into the main rough and fade that out over a riding out into the sunset style guitar solo. There's a bit too much lead guitar to cover in this episode, so I think we'll call it a day here. Have a listen to what we have so far, and we'll move on to the lead guitar in the next episode. Let's have a listen now to what we have. You can hear a lead guitar part coming in here, just playing a nice soft melody that leads up to the big rough coming.
Okay, cool. Sounded good so far. Looking forward to doing some lead guitars next week. Okay, so it's coming together well. Solid chorus, solid verses. I'm quite pleased with it because quite often I find that trying to write a very straightforward, simple song can often be more difficult than trying to write a very complex prog metal style song. Often with the more complex songs, you can add more and more detail until it starts to get the sound that you want. But with a simple song like this, it's the core elements that are really important, so they have to be really solid and really good. You can find yourself spending a very, very long time trying to write a song that's got just the right level of simplicity. And so it can be a challenge. Let me know what you think of the song so far in the comments. I'd love to hear your input, guys. As usual, please like and subscribe. If you're enjoying what I do, buy me a coffee. Thanks so much, guys. You guys rock. Yeah.